guys, welcome back. So tomorrow we're heading off and I'm here with my mum so we're going to quickly whip up a quick snack. Yeah, we um, get a bit peckish on our road trips so having something on hand is always good isn't it Addy? Yeah, so what are we going to be making mum? Uh, what have we got here? We're making um, chocolate alternative, it is called chocolate alternative slice but we're making it into what Addy? Balls. Balls, and why do we make it into balls? Because it's a lot easier to eat. Yes, a lot easier to eat, a lot easier than cutting up a slice and we can just throw them over to the kids in the back. So what do we need to make this slice Addy? We need 130 grams of almonds. 155. Oh, no. we, we only need 75 grams of other nuts. We've just got some mixed nuts here. We, we normally use all macadamia nuts, but I didn't have enough. So we're throwing in some Brazil nuts and some cashews to meet the 75 grams of mixed nuts. What do we got here, Eddie? 250 dates. grams of dates. Yep. Make sure you pit your dates, because that does not taste nice. Um, what have we got here? 65 grams, grams of, coconut. of desiccated coconut. 25, 25 grams, grams of cocoa. Now you can use cocoa, we use cacao. Um, the only difference between the two powders is that the cacao is not heated as high as what your cocoa powder is. We've got one teaspoon of salt. Salt. Now we're just using Himalayan salt, but I normally use Celtic sea salt. Um, and the reason I like the Celtic sea salt, if you can get your hands on it, you can get it from um, health food shops. Oh, it puts an amazing salty touch into the slice, doesn't yeah, it, Addy? It's not just so chocolatey, it's kind of You sweet. get a, a bit of sweet and a bit of salty, and it's a perfect blend. Then we've got about 20 grams of maple syrup and about 30 grams of coconut oil. Hey, Addy. Yeah. And what do we do with this? It's very easy to make, isn't it? Yeah, so we just chuck all the dry ingredients in the Thermomix. Yep, blitz them all up together, and then we add a bit your wet ingredients, the maple syrup and the coconut oil, and you just keep adding as you go. So how about we just start putting everything in the Thermomix? Yep. Okay. Alright. Throw it all in there. And we'll put those ingredients up in the recipe too for you so you have them all. Um, yep, some powder, cocoa or cacao, some salt, and we'll give that a bit of a blitz first to mash all the nuts. So we're just going to chop them all up till it's nice and fine. You can, of course you can chop it to your liking. Um, sorry, my lid is hard to close because I dropped my Thermomix bowl on the ground in the caravan the other day and my bowl is bent out of shape so now I'm having <laughs> troubles getting my lid on. So if there's any Thermomix um, representatives out there watching that would like to give away a free bowl, I'm happy to take it off your hands. <laughs> Okay, Addy, so we just use our turbo button to blitz this to our liking, don't we? Mm -hmm. So you can do that for us, Addy. <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it is loud in the van. Let's have a little look in there. I'll just take the lid off so you can see what it's looking like. Look at that. It just It's all ground down to nothing. All those nuts. Now if you like it finer, you can still keep pulsing it on the turbo button to make it finer. So Addy, I think we're ready to pop in our dates. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not going to... Yeah, tip them all on the top and then just push them all in with your finger. Ooh. Oh, and I ran out of dates too, so I topped it up with uh, um, some currants. <laughs> you can put oh. any fruit you like. Dates is the nicest, um, but yes, we didn't quite have enough dates, so we just threw in some currants. Okay, Addy, would you like to give that a bit of a turbo pulse a few times? Hold it in. Pump. Let's have a little look, Addy. Oh, this is lovely. Okay, let's have a look at it again. Our bench is quite high, so look at that. It's all blitzed in lovely. Now we just add the wet ingredients until it comes to a nice sticky consistency. Okay. All right, ads, let's put our scales on. 20 grams. 20 of grams. Of, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, hang on, hang on, hang on. Stop. Sorry, Don. <laughs> Something's touching the no, Thermomix bowl. No, I was bowl. leaning on there it. You when you're pouring, you cannot lean on the Thermomix bowl. Whoop. That's perfect. Okay, let's set our scales again and we need about 30 grams of coconut oil, maybe 40. We'll see how we go. It's pretty... <laughs> oh. 
Oh, that is hard, isn't it? There we go. Okay. So pour that one nice and slowly. We don't want a big bowl of coconut oil, do we? Nope. And don't let it touch the bowl. Oh, we have got a bit too much. <laughs> <in there. laughs> 50 credits. Steady on with your hands today, Eddie. We'll see how we go. So now all we're doing is we're just locking the lid and we just hit the top line. Hold it. Let's have a look, Eddie. Would you like to be our taste tester, Eddie? Yes. I always am. What do you think? Mm, I like that salt flavor. It is nice, isn't it? Okay. Now, a little hack. What we like to do is, I think we may have shown this in one of Addy's cooking shows before. I think it was the pikelet. The pikelet. Yes, so we have a small ice cream scoop. I'm not one to use a spoon, roll them all up. It just takes too long. So we use an ice cream scoop. If we just put this up on the table here, and make some room for us, Addy. And there you go, Don. You can show them how you scoop it up into okay. the half balls. Now you don't want too much. And then you click it out on the, and then you get another person, and that lucky person gets the job of rolling them. I'm not going to be the roller because I might eat all of them. And I forgot to give you another hot tip: was to slightly wet, dampen your hands. Stop eating it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what we forgot to do, Addy. We forgot to tell everyone. Let's just grab a knife out of here. We don't like them that big. We're a bit fussy. So we use the scoop to make them that size and then we chop them in half. So Addy, you can do the clicking. Click them all out. So while Addy clicks them all, we normally have one of the other kids there to just quickly roll them up. And then what we do and I just have to wet my hands quickly. Okay, now that we've finished rolling them all into balls, what do we like to do with ours? We Eddie? like to dust them with extra coconut. Extra coconut. So, what we do is, you don't even have to clean out your Thermomix bowl, okay? There's little bits of scraps left there. Now, we use this organic coconut because it doesn't contain the um, 220 sulfur dioxide preservative, which gives us massive migraines. So, what we do is we just pop a little bit into the bowl and the reason why I do this is because the organic shredded coconut it's a lot longer than your normal desiccated coconut you get in the shops see how long the strands are so I like to make it a little bit finer to dust on top of our bliss balls how much we got in there Eddie that looks uh, like it'll be enough rooms. let's put the lid back on all right and would you like to turbo that up a couple of times till mm -hmm. that coconut's nice and um, Nice. What do you think? Does that look smaller or a bit more? I'd yeah, say okay. that was a bit more then. Okay, so unlock the thermi, take the lid off, and while Addy's getting the thermomix bowl out, we then like to place them in a little bowl. I don't know if you've heard of these things, guys. They're called flat stacks best thing I've ever purchased so you get a set of them they're silicon with a nice hard rim around them and they they can fold down to anything so if whatever you've got doesn't fit into the container then you just collapse it down to where you need it and store it keeps it airtight best things we've ever spent money on okay in regards to kitchen storage so all we'll do is we'll put, you want to tip that coconut in there? Ready? And I'll also get a spatula to scrape all the excess down the side. All right, you scrape the excess down the side with the spatula. I'll dip the... There's no spatula in here. I'll throw the balls into here. Whee! Oh, we'll blast one on the floor. And that's mine. That's Addie's. <laughs> and now what we're going to do is give it a bit of a shake. And that just coats them all. We put them in the fridge. Oh, well, actually, we like to keep ours in the freezer because we like them extra firm. Sometimes I call them snowflake balls. And if you like extra coconut, you can put more on them. We might just scrape the rest of that out with the spatula, Addy. There's no spatula in there. Oh, we have lost the spatula. <laughs> hey, guys. 
I hope you enjoyed watching that and I hope you enjoy cooking them. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hey guys, welcome back. Oh, peace.